If you ever find yourself dragging through the day, exhausted, foggy, and disconnected, you're feeling like a zombie, but you can come back to life and you can feel good again. Dr. Amy Duffy is here with some helpful advice. Happy almost Halloween. Looking Yay. good, half zombie. We had to be the zombie. Yeah. zombie queen today so absolutely I mean sleep is so important right we talk about sleep all the time and if you're not getting enough sleep I mean you're gonna not only feel like a zombie you're gonna look like a zombie with those circles under your eyes yeah. right so you know six hours of good quality sleep is more important than eight hours of not good sleep that's a good point and to make. four hours of sleep isn't gonna do anybody any good no, so you gotta gonna... start thinking about sleep early you're gonna feel like a zombie so you've kind of prepared this list I don't know if they're in order but yes yeah, sleep is definitely the one yeah. to, to stay out of uh, uh, zombie realm by getting good night's sleep. Next, Absolutely. you say an unhealthy diet really makes people yeah. feel like a monster, and it's easy to be reaching into the trick or treat bags. And we're in that season now. Rain, you know, when you feel like a zombie, one eating brains all day is really not a very balanced diet. So <laughs> yeah. we got to find some balance there. But when you feel bad, we tend to reach for the things that give you that quick hit, right? So you're looking for the the sugar, the carbs, the caffeine, and those might give you that little hit, but they're gonna drag you down the rest of the day. So looking at things that are gonna give you a more balanced diet. And eating a bunch of sugar actually depletes your immune system up to five hours after you eat it. So we're gonna see a lot of sick people and sick kids over the weekend um, with the crud, you know? Yeah, because and, they're zapped by all the sugar. So they're healthy yeah. alternatives, you say, to, to kind of consider instead. Yeah, so when my kids were little, 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 and you're, you know, you gotta five-year-old so this is perfect like we talk about slow foods glow foods and grow foods it's a really easy way to help your kids think about what they're eating so foods that are going to slow them down the candy the sugar the carbs kind of avoid those or keep those last but talking about glow foods so the foods that are super colorful you know are going to help them glow help their eyes I pop like this you know much. that kind of stuff and then the grow foods are the ones that have protein so i got some quick easy things that have you know protein for grab and grow so some cheese sticks i love these grass fed meat sticks so they're good Satisfying. quality meat they don't have all the colors you know artificial colors or artificial chemicals and stuff in them so things that you can grab and go real easy Slow food, glow food, and grow food. I yeah. like that a lot. And then um, dehydration, obviously, this is a nightmare. You see, zombies do not drink water, but we need to drink a lot of it to avoid all that Lots sluggishness. Water, right. So when you're dehydrated, you feel down, your skin is saggy, you just feel blah, right? So we can't come up here and not talk about drinking water, it seems, every time. So carry your water. You always have your water. My Yeti goes everywhere with me, so we have to drink more water. It's just imperative yeah it doesn't you know. count having a bunch of caffeinated yeah. beverages clinking around <laughs> you're, you're drinking water throughout the day yep. um, and then you know this goes to our emotions too because you said zombies have bottled up emotions there's something unhealthy yes. about not talking about so what's zombies inside. don't talk right mm -hmm. and like we need to talk it out and so holding those emotions inside is going to make you more heavy more sluggish more down and depressed and sometimes you do want to kind of isolate but finding a way to talk it out and whether that's you know friends family or getting a journal you know just to find a journal and write in your journal every day what your feelings are that sort of thing is going to help lighten your load and help lighten your mood yeah and we've talked about how just writing a few things before bed whatever's kind of on your mind yeah. if there's something bugging you or bothering you leave it on the page close that book get and, it out of there yeah you've got it <laughs> as a list and then finally um a terrifying scenario that you say everybody needs to avoid is yeah. social isolation because you don't want to be a lone werewolf out know, there by yourself. You know, zombies don't hug, no. really. They're they're kind of, even though they might walk around in groups, they don't talk to each other, they don't interact. And so again, when you're feeling down and out, what do you want to do? You want to isolate. You don't want to talk to people. You don't want to go out and socialize. So, you know, just kind of try to push through that, get out there, talk, and think about even a hug to a stranger, right? A 20-second hug is going to boost oxytocin and dopamine, which are those happy chemicals chemicals they go right to your brain they give you that lift they make you feel good so don't feel like a zombie anymore go out and feel like you again yeah reach out for for all the treats around us and appreciate the good things yeah. um, we don't want to feel like a zombie forever so really healthy lifestyle changes can get us feeling human again um, how do you wrap it up and how do we maybe kick off this week with some motivation because we've got a lot of hurdles ahead. Yeah. I mean, starting with, with filling up on the good stuff, right? So, yes, yep. we're going to maybe have a lot of candy. And, you know, even early on, we're seeing, you know, offices full of candy, whatnot. So, you know, try to fill up on the good stuff. Make sure you got your water with you. Don't fill up on the sodas, the coffee, the things like that that are going to drain you. Yeah, you're and more likely to be able to turn down the next round of sweets if yeah, you've already if had some of the, of the good stuff. stuff. You know, fill up with the good stuff rather than try to eliminate. Yeah. It's easier to do it that way. Because there are going to be and, some treats in all our future. You know, if you feel like you're doing everything right, but yet you still feel like a zombie, then maybe that's when you reach out, check out our website, and see if there's something else going on that we may need to 
very intervene good. a little you bit. Tailor this advice to yeah. people. And yeah. love working with you. Amy, thank you very much. Dr. Thank Amy you. Duffy, people find you at Carolina Integrative Medicine in Clemson. There's a link to learn more on accesscarolina.com.